Hey, what's up, everyone? All right, here's another episode of Drawing with Sean. I'm going to add some tone to this Naomi Campbell pencil drawing. So I got the shape pretty much laid out. Now I'm going to add, I'm going to darken the shadows. Uh, so it's going to be a 25 minute drawing. A family member or two <laughs> may come in, may come in the video. Uh, so, all right, get, get my pencils ready. Okay, so what's been done so far, this has all been a 2H pencil by Karen Dash, different 2Hs. Now to get it a little darker, oh, and, and some of the blending has been a 5H to make it a little smoother. I'm gonna use a HB pencil, uh, that's by Steeler Mars Lumograph, along with a 2B, so HB, is hard and black and 2B is a little bit blacker. I'm gonna get what I'm, the idea is to see how dark I can get and then add details later. So it's gonna be a 25 minute drawing. I hope you enjoy. Hope your day is going good. All right, here we go. What I want to do is still draw on the point, and I'd like to separate from the hair. So the edge of the hair. Now I could go real, I could draw in one place for a while, get it real dark. So to give some context on how dark I'd like it to get. So here's the photo. I would like, so I'm drawing this right here, this black spot. I want to get it as dark as this. So I'm building up a scale, I'm going with the darkest part first, then working towards lightest. And it's gonna take many applications of the HB. I'm gonna keep building it up, getting darker and darker, darker and darker. And what I can also do to fill in, fill in some of the spots that it left over, use a 5H, sort of a blending tool. So the harder the pencil lead, the deeper it gets into the cracks of the paper. The softer the pencil lead, the more space is in between each stroke. So 
it could be black, it could be dark, but soft, and it wouldn't fill in all the cracks. A harder pencil fills in the cracks. So if I go a little bit darker with a 2B pencil, it'll be darker, but still some spaces are missing. I don't particularly want the gaps in the lead. So I have to build a slow foundation first. Can't go too dark too soon. Typically, I'd use a blending stool, a blending stump. I would use something like this typically to rub the paper and rub the tone in, make it smoother. But I'm gonna try something different for me, to just use lead, no rubbing. I was told that rubbing, rubbing the paper the paper has a lot of picks, a lot of teeth, and rubbing knocks down the teeth. And I have to constantly sharpen the pencil every couple of minutes or so. Yeah, a sharp point makes the job a whole lot easier. Get much better results. Okay, so you see this part is filling up. And when drawing, when using the strokes, picture your hand you know, on, a, on a pivot like this, just the wrist moving. So place, place this part of the hand down on the paper. You can hold the pencil close to the tip, not further back here, but a little closer down. 
and just back and forth. Just a wrist motion. Gonna use a hard pencil to fill in. start using a little darker a 2b just so you get a sense of just to get a sense of the darkness This is going to be a gradual build. I'll show you a little something. By doing it this way, it helps. It helps me get you know, results like this. So by doing a gradual build, And by not starting too dark, I could always make it a little darker. It's easier to darken than to lighten.
constantly using a hatching technique. The strokes are coming in this direction throughout the whole drawing. It's all in the same direction. As I get further into more detail, then I start kind of doing it in a circle. But for the most part, in one direction. I'll give you all an air demonstration of how I sharpen pencils. So bear with me for a moment. All right, so got the pencil, I have a razor blade. Sharpen it so you all see it. Come up with a sharper point. still using the HB for this foundation. Then I'll increase to a 2B. I'll very likely go to 4B as well to get it real, real dark. And these strokes can be a little bit looser because it's more of an area, a wider area. And what I could do, use this stump here 
take this off, put this pencil on this thing. I'm moving this down. Put the pencil in. So this gives me, this makes the pencil longer. Gives me more room to operate. And it helps extend the life of my pencils. So I'm not throwing them away as they get shorter, as quickly. Now I want a nice clean edge right here to make this look three dimensional. I'd like this fabric to jump off the background. To do that, I have to start separating at the edge, at the border. Sharpen a bit. There's my nephew coming. <laughs> no, go back. <laughs> All right, you can you can peek your head. Come, come. All right. So, here's my nephew. Say hello. Hey. Mitchell. <laughs> A little bit more. Hey. Look up. Look at the camera. All right. <laughs> Right. Well, what you drawing? Uh, drawing a model, Naomi Campbell. It's in real life. Yeah, alright, so go back. I'm gonna go get some snacks. Okay. Alright, so, as I thought, you know, uh, appearance by a cameo by family members. So in the last minute, minute and a half, I'm going to darken it a bit. So you see, this section is a whole lot darker than what it was before, you know, 25 minutes ago. So get back to a darker pencil, 2B. Sharpen it.
and still staying outside of the border. So it's getting towards the end. Take a look, take a brief look. All right, so that's the time. What I like to do is draw 25 minutes, take a five minute break, 25 minutes, another five minute break. I do that for about three hours. So here we are, and what I'll do is continually make this darker. So like this area, these are the darkest areas of the drawing. And that's going to let me know what's the second darkest, third darkest, fourth darkest. I'm going to go from dark to light, and I'll be able to do things on the legs. And as you can see, the runway is white. So I want to thank you all for for looking, spending your time with me, and take care till the next one. And check out more videos on YouTube, Sean Punch Drawing and Photography. All right, take care.